Well, there's some good news and there's some bad news for UCLA football on Locked On UCLA. You are Locked On UCLA, your daily podcast on the UCLA Bruins. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome, everybody, to this edition of the Locked On UCLA Podcast. I'm your host, Zach anderson Yoxheimer. Thanks for making this show your first listen each and every day. It's free wherever you get your podcast, and it's available on YouTube. So let's get right to it. If you're an everyday or you've been seeing and knowing that there's craziness going on with the coaching carousel, whether it's assistant coaches, poach, coaches getting poached and, and moving over to other universities, or just players in heading into the portal without any UCLA commitments coming their way so far via the transfer portal. All right, so the latest has UCLA with the likes of another player committing himself to the transfer portal, announcing that. And then you've got UCLA having a player win a major award in the Pac-12, and the Bruins also sending out an offer to a receiver to a a big-time team who is in the portal right now. So what do you want first? Do you like bad news like I do first? Bad news Bears? Bad news Bruins first? Or do you want to do good news first? I always like the bad news. So we're going to hit it right with the nail on the head. The big news of the day, UCLA has their seventh player heading in the transfer portal, and it is the likes of Kamari Ramsey, the seventh player overall, second defensively for UCLA, the first five guys that all put their names in the portal all on the offensive side of the football. I'm not sure why that was the case. Of course, it's more likely now that the Danton Lynn news broke that that might be more likely. Unfortunately, this is probably the biggest, one of the biggest names UCLA had with multiple years of potential, multiple years left of eligibility, with a lot of growth, a lot of opportunity ahead of him, and he's leaving UCLA. Uh, obviously, on these transfer portal guys can, uh, can come back. It, it's just highly unlikely that that happens with UCLA struggling so much in 2023 offensively and defensively. Danton Lynn jumping ship ahead in the USC with the insane jump up with his pay raise Ramsey from Palmdale the redshirt freshman has played games in two separate seasons limited action in 22 so he's seen action in 15 games for UCLA 11 games in 23 this year 11 starts did not start the Arizona State game had multiple tackles overall multi-tackle games in eight games eight tackles against Oregon State a tackle and a half for loss and had his first interception of the year in the last game of the regular season against Cal. So this was someone who was getting a lot of starts, starting basically every game. Wasn't really sure he was going to get that much love early on in the season when the depth charts were released, and he consistently was a starter for UCLA every game in the secondary, and where you have Nimmo, who just put his name in the portal, another another guy as a safety. Two safeties who are graduating and losing eligibility running out of eligibility, that's four guys at a key spot, key couple of spots for UCLA, where they were already thin, that now, I, I just literally said with Nimmo going to the portal, all right, Ramsey, and now he's in the portal. It's a little, infor- it's, it's majorly unfortunate. It is just going to suck, hopefully not. But that's the case. The Bruins, with, I think, what will be one of many key losses this year due to either the draft, the portal, or running out of eligibility, that UCLA might have enjoyed a brief run, a fun run defensively as we did this year in 2023. And now it's up to Chip Kelly to revamp, recruit players with the first of all, finding a defensive coordinator. I know I've promised talking about the defensive coordinator, but I had to quickly get one out because Ramsey, he's gone. Unfortunate. Unfortunate, yes, for UCLA that he is no longer a four. He's a four-star product from three recruiting sites and was somebody who is was vital to UCLA's future in the secondary. A lot of promise. And when you're starting as a redshirt freshman, played in 15 games, special team, or worked his way into the depth chart, man, there's a lot of potential for wherever he lands. And it, now UCLA is starting to lose some serious talent offensively and defensively in terms of guys who had bright futures ahead of them in a UCLA uniform, and that no longer looks to be the case. All right, I'm going to stop there right now. I'm going to stop with the negative talk. Because there'll be plenty of that and some positive talk moving forward, which is why we talk good news. You can go with the UCLA getting the the offer out. And brief news, I saw Bro Report 24-7 Sports site report that UCLA 
offered Rico Flores Jr. out of Notre Dame, a California native, who is in the portal from Notre Dame after after a year. And the Bruins said, hey, you know, let's uh, let's take a look at somebody who's in the portal and try and go after him for UCLA, right? That, that's somebody who they're trying to replace the skill position. No commitment. He, he's got an offer out there. So the Bruins have sent out a, an offer to TJ Crandall, I've seen. They've sent an offer out to, to Rico Flores. And now the Bruins are trying to maybe gather some talent, not only to get better for next year, but just to simply replace what is so far going out away from this year's roster through the portal. And then last but not least, in this very shortened edition of Locked on UCLA, we have to we have to highlight the beast that is Leatu Latu. We're going to end on a good note because Latu is the Pat Tillman Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year, the last one in the conference's true version of its history in the Defensive Player of the Year. Latu came back, one, to prove he could stay healthy over a whole season, prove he can be a beast over two seasons, and once again try to live up to that proclamation that he wants to be the best player in the country, lead the nation in sacks, get 15 sacks, leads the nation in tackles for loss, I believe, what, well over 21 or 21, right? And is closing in on that 15-sack ticker that he set for himself that if he plays in the bowl game, will be having that number, two sacks to get against Boise State to make that happen. I'm not sure he will play in the bowl game against Boise in the L.A. Bowl at SoFi because, most importantly, you sit out, you're going to make a lot of money being a first-round pick for someone who had to medically retire not too long ago when he was at Washington. But Latu is one of my favorite Bruins of all time and should be one of our most beloved Bruins, right? After we saw what happened with Jalen Phillips, with him going to Miami and in a short stint over there, becoming a big-name prospect in the NFL, although he has had a season-ending injury, unfortunately, over there. We hope he recovers. You have someone who is the fifth Bruin to win this award all time, leads the nation with 21 and a half tackles for loss, the most since Anthony Barr, another favorite of mine. Of course, that's me when I was remembering when you got to the go to the spring game or the, the preseason game for the UCLA players, and you can go take pictures with players in the field. My boy, Anthony Barr, sat there, took a picture next to him. So if you're going to compare to the likes of Anthony Barr, one of the all-time moments for UCLA sacking Matt Barkley and just playing well in the NFL for an, an extended period of time, and then an all-time Bruin who had to work his way, changing positions, while well, Latu's a little different. He had to work his way in the last two seasons as a full health, not even on the depth chart last year, and now he's a major award winner because he's a finalist for the Vindarek Award, the Lombardi Award, Lot Impact Award, and the Ted Hendricks Defensive End of the Year Award. He is someone who was a vital reason especially an important reason why this defense was as good as it was this year. Danton Lynn, yes. But if Danton Lynn had pieces such as Leatu Latu, and he wasn't recruited by Lynn, and that guy who still re recruited him is in the coaching staff, Ikai Kamaloy, or what, you know, and he is still there. So the fact that UCLA could try and maybe get talent like a Latu, now it's a little different with his background, his story, but the fact that he's the Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year came back, basically said, I'm going to do it, and was on the short list for contending the previous season, 22, and he actually does it this year. All the more props to him. I hope he makes a lot of money, has an extended, fantastic NFL career, however long it lasts. And I'd love to see him in a UCLA uniform one more time, go out victorious with two sacks to get 15 and just dominate Boise State. If that's not the case, then we'll wish him well whenever he – decides to either opt in or opt out of the bowl game with many of the last ride for a very old UCLA defense outside of the Kamari Ramsey transfer. I just, I appreciate the Latu effort. There's so many plays. You can see him extra efforts that Washington state game where he missed a tackle or went early, had to chase the, the runner, the, the receiver down punches the fumble out from behind sets the Bruins up for a comeback victory against the Cougars earlier this season. And one of their biggest wins of the season in 2023 he just had that heart, hustle, and the ability with one of quite a few Bruins on the all Pac-12 defensive selection, offensive selection. He was the guy that was the leader in the clubhouse and is a finalist for most every major award he could be available for outside of the Heisman for UCLA. He is absolutely fantastic, and I'm glad he's there. So we got to applaud a great Bruin as he prepares to go to the NFL. That is your good news. They got an offer out. They got offers out in the portal whether reported or not or not, 
And you've got Latu, who deservingly was clearly the best player in the Pac-12 defensively throughout the entire season, non-conference, conference. And whenever you talk about someone who is a force, Latu Latu. And that's where we're going to end this podcast right here on Locked On UCLA. I know we come to sports to escape from some of the crazy realities of real life, but can we just talk for a minute, preparing for real life? According to the FDA, pharmacy is running out of antibiotics, right? Antibiotics. And in the middle of the worst flu season in over a decade, it's kind of scary. And if feeling helpless about a loved one or your kids getting sick with a supply chain issue, keeping you from life-saving medication, it's good that we have... Jace Medical, because the Jace case offered by Jace Medical has five different antibiotics in a pack that can treat a long list of bacterial infections, including UTIs, respiratory infections, and more, because that stuff can happen to any of us. All you have to do is visit jacemedical.com, complete your physician encounter, reviewed by a board-certified physician, and your medications will be dispensed by a licensed pharmacy at a fraction of the regular cost. It's never been more important than to be prepared for today. Go to jacemedical.com, use the code locked on to get $20 off your order. If you're looking at the poll and you're wondering, hey, what, what's going to go on? What's UCLA going to look like next year? Well, maybe those numbers aren't out, but there's a lot of things you can mess around with and have some fun with. As the weather gets colder, the NFL offers stay hot on FanDuel as well. New customers get $150 in bonus bets when winning any $5 money line bet. That's $150 if your team wins. Check it out, because if you've been thinking about joining FanDuel, there's no better time to get in on the action than now, because the app's super easy to use, a wide range of betting options available, including spreads, player props, and more. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on, kick off the NFL season. FanDuel, an official partner of the NFL. Well, that's going to do it for us here on Locked on UCLA. Bad news but some good news for the Bruins. And certainly there will be good news to come. We're going to talk more UCLA basketball and talk any breaking news, any players in the portal, where to get to it because there still might be more to come for UCLA for better and for worse. At some point, there will be guys committing, signing, and coming from the transfer portal into the program, and we'll be excited for that as well. Hands up, Bruins fans. A clap time, baby. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A, U, C, L, A. UCLA fight, fight, fight. This has been Locked on UCLA. Zach signing off. Go Bruins.